I would like to welcome Eris to the stage. Eris Safar, thank you for putting this all together. So this is my third book. It, in the light of Infinite Series, it's called The Sound of Illumination. And the process basically changed my life because I still have major fear of public speaking, but I spent all of my life until the last seven months just completely avoiding it. But this was inspired, unfortunately, by the passing of my ex-wife's mom was the first time I wrote a chapter, which would become a chapter in this book. It kind of resonated with different people. It was paralleling the Torah portion, the Parshiyot, bringing in Hasidun and Kabbalah, and also just things that I was going through, and even sometimes song lyrics or a scene from a movie. And then, unfortunately, not long after, my mom passed away. And then I chose to sort of devote two years of my life learning and writing what would become these five books that are coming out out all within a year and they parallel the five books of the Torah. So the first one's called the Genesis of Light and the second one's called the Exodus of Darkness. And I actually just, I was just thinking about this, that when I got a divorce, I was terrified because my mother-in-law at the time was like one of my favorite people, so full of like love and life and chesed and just so graceful and incredible and raised 11 amazing kids. And one of the things with getting a divorce, like having two kids and having to like break up a family unit in a way, like thank God everything's amazing and I see them every day and we're to get along but it's like all those fears and all the stories that are playing out in your head and one, one of the things was like she's living in New York my mother-in-law and I'm like what is she gonna say when she sees me you know what I mean like we were so close and I feel like she's just gonna be so disappointed and let me know and when I saw her she was so graceful and was like I pray that you guys find your basherts like your soulmates that moment, it could have gone a completely different direction, and I think my life would have gone a completely different direction, because it was that grace and love that she always led with, even in that situation where she was clearly disappointed with what's going on, um, that allowed me to continue to sort of be inspired and want to do this all for the Aliyah of her and my mom's in the Shema. So the book, this is not a book of poetry, but there are a couple poems in there, <laughs> so I'm going to read them. I woke up one day, and she was dead. My mom, gone just like that. All these thoughts racing through my head. The one person whose love to me was unconditional. Things fall apart, but I wasn't ready for that to start. I built it up so tall, never stopped to think of the fall. Down, down, down. What pieces were left? What piece am I left? Did I transform the sadness into something else? Or did I just sweep it away for another day, a month, a year? Time is a figment of a fractured world, and mine was just that. If words create these worlds of ours, I fixed mine through them. I dreamt mine to them. I found her again. And now I see her through every response these words receive. It felt like a reprieve, but now feels like a way to receive her through the mirrors that we are all. Angels don't die, they multiply. I was never good at math, but I could see the infinite in the love this love sent. Part two, a mirror. Was it broken? I couldn't see clear. It was clouded, abstracted with fear. I rode that wave, a smooth, familiar feeling, like a fiending for easy. Stunted growth, a rest stop on the exhausting path towards elevation. The price, ephemeral dopamine hits, but never elation. Fear fosters comfort in a weird way, but it was time to feel all the real, all the divine decrees to a freer me. I would channel it, stepping into a self-appointed role, one to inspire us all, to release this obsessive control. Learning all the ancient Jewish mystics and Kabbalah so that you won't have to, spreading it on toast so that it might satiate even the furthest ones the most. A return to what truly is, not the layers fueled by fear, but the transparent, the space the truth went, Concealed in plain sight by being the only thing real in this staged fight. Part 3 My little gloves in this ring. It felt silly, but also felt like a beginning. The first thought of thoughts of winning. How to write a book. I've always wanted to, but that was 20 years ago. Shouldn't these dreams flow? What will I write? I want to inspire the fire that love grows. I want to rewire the mind that doubt closed. Wow, these words are waves and water, a well for the fallen. I stood upright, showing them the light that darkness brings, the melody of alchemy. This mirror wasn't so bad. I can only see the present, and even that seemed abstract. 
So I look past it, ignoring the reflection, allowing the refraction. I found her there. I stopped and stared. She, in every being, it was me I was seeing. We are only light. Thank you.